Hello everyone, my name is Brandon, and in today's video we are looking at the Lego Movie 2 set number 70841, Benny Space Squad, 68 pieces, 4 minifigures, and is recommended for ages 5 and up, and I just want to say I hope you guys are all having a very happy Easter, let's go ahead and take a look at this set. And the first minifigure up is of course Benny himself, it would not be Benny Space Squad without Benny. Focus. You know, sometimes the camera doesn't want to cooperate anyway. So he does have his um same old cracked helmet piece. And he's got an exclusive face print, I believe. He's got a really happy one. Then a sad one. I don't know why they gave him a sad one. You can't even put that on. He's got the oxygen that takes no printing under that. It's just plain blue with like the scruffed up one. So there's no there's not that as much to Benny. And here we have Kenny. He is a yellow spaceman. And this set reintroduces this piece to the Lego um, brick palette. Not color palette. It's not a color palette. It's a brick palette. I don't even. I don't know what it's called. Anyways, this piece was retired, but it reintroduces it. And it's more sturdy. It doesn't crack like um, what Benny is supposed to represent here. Or how they use the crack. This one does not crack. So that's a lot better. One thing I do, like, I'm talking about, like, this part right here, like, it cracks and, like, slides under. But one thing I was talking about was, um, the fact that, uh, his face is yellow, it kind of blends in with the rest of his body, so I kind of find that a bit weird. But he does have a metal detector as his accessory, which is a piece that you would commonly find in classic Lego space sets. Moving on now to Jenny. She is a white, um... Spaceman, and she does have the blaster accessories, just that piece in it. And cylinder. Like I said, same exact spaceman, just in white. And if you're wondering where I'm getting all the names from, I'm not just assigning them to them. It's on the back of the box, right there. Kenny, Benny, uh, Lenny, and Jenny. So there you go. That's where I'm getting the names from. Um, if I had to, if I had to do it, this one would be named Lenny instead of the next one being named Lenny. And here is what they named Lenny, which I wouldn't name Jenny. Anyways, um, Lenny's got a wrench that he just dropped. Go. We have never seen the pink spaceman before. It is a new and exclusive to this set, so I like that. But on that, same thing as the other ones. No back printing. Nothing, just different color pieces. You also get this little robot guy, which um, we got a build that was similar to this. In Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. And you could also, just like um, the other accessories, you could also commonly find this guy in classic space sets. Um, he's very simple. They just use one of those multi-purpose bricks. I don't know what they're called. Uh, two by two radar dish on the bottom, a plate on the back, lever on the top, some cheese slopes, and then some sort of like, I don't know, claw pieces, his arms. But it's a very basic little build that I'm glad they included. Looking at our first vehicle, which is the lunar buggy, we got a steering wheel right there. Then a little yellow light, which needs to be pushed back on. Uh, four tires, some round parts on the bottom. Uh, you got places to put too many figures, but if you put the if you put um Kenny on here, you got to put the metal detector right there on those clips. Doesn't really always work out if you want to set a minifigure there. I mean, you can kind of try it and do it that way. So let's say um, oops, I'll the camera. Let's say we wanted to put. Kenny and Lenny on there, so clip those on to the back, which I do find very useful. I don't think any original Lunar Buggy builds had like clips on the back, so that's something new, I think. Let's put Kenny there, and then Lenny goes right there. So th he can sit there, but it's kind of hard since we got the metal detector on, and it does roll pretty nicely, so you can roll this around, have some nice playability with this. It's just a great set. Here is the spaceship scooter type thing that's included in the set. I love that print. That's a really nice print. Another steering wheel right there. And you can just go ahead and put Benny right down on it. Right there. And you've got um the back engine back there. Red light, red light, the wings. You know, like a little antenna there, like communications. And the engine is just a dome piece in case you're wondering. And the piece they use right there is a Lego brick that I haven't seen used in a long time. It's like this piece right here. It's not the piece that I originally thought it was, but it's one that I haven't seen used in a long time. 
But that is about it for this uh, space scooter build. Go ahead and take a look at the packaging. And then this just do good likes to call it the final verdict. Here is the box. Now, at first glance, you may think this is your normal $10 box size. No, it's not. It's actually a bit smaller than your normal $10 box size. Because, like, at first when I saw this thing, I was like, ah, it's your $10 box size. But then I went to Walmart to actually buy this thing, and it was sitting next to another $10 set. And I was like, that set's a lot bigger. Because, like, the box is just a lot bigger. So this is not your $10 box size. But anyways, um, you can see set information, boom, boom. You can see, um, like, a Space City or something back there. Again, where is it? Again, the names from Kenny, Benny, who, okay, I guess that's why they included that face. Because he broke the robot. Lenny and Jitty. And then on top, we got Lenny and Kenny riding that thing. And then Benny on the space scooter. On top, we got Benny. One thing I want to talk about is, is that the actual size? I know it says actual size, but is it actually the actual size? Yeah, and it pretty much is the actual size. Okay. I did not know that. On the side, um, advertisement, and Lego Movie 2, Kenny. Anyways, that's it for the packaging. So overall, I think this is a great set that Lego fans of all types and ages can enjoy. Even if you were, even if you don't have the nostalgia that you might have if you grew up with these. It's still a great set, and I think it's a great set, especially since they introduced a new color for the Classic Spaceman. I really like that. And then the yellow Classic Spaceman, and the white one and the blue one, which are obviously not new. And the little robot, which they didn't need to include, but it's still nice to get. And you can buy multiple of these, and you can just build up a giant Spaceman army, which sounds like a fun thing to do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. Leave, blah, leave it a like. I cannot talk today. And... Maybe even subscribe. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.